Hi everyone, this is Todd Millen. I'm the band director and jazz director here at KO, and I thought I'd walk you through what it takes to put on a virtual performance. Uh, I wish it was as easy as just having the kids meet in the chat room and hitting record and having it go, uh, but unfortunately because of delays and internet connections and whatnot, it's really difficult to get two people to play together at the same time live online, much less three, four, five, or 30 or 40. So we've had to be creative in our workarounds, and I'm gonna show you a little bit about how we did that. So for our little sunflower project, what we did was I found this um, backing track to the original tune, and I gave this to the kids to practice over. So they would hear this playing in the background, and they would have some time to practice. We were doing this before the, before the spring break. After that, what I did, did in order to help them uh, figure out how everything fit together was I actually made a recording of myself over the backing track and so initially to start, it's just me with my instrument. You can't actually hear that backing track. I'm listening to it in the headphones. Um, and I just record what it is that I want the kids to do. Then I take that along with the original backing track and I use a video editing program and I put everything together into one place and the kids will then hear uh, me play over the backing track and I give them instructions as to who's supposed to solo when and whatnot. So I'll just give you a quick for instance here. And I just sort of count them through the solo and make sure they know who's supposed to play when. And when it's the next student's turn, I, I say their name and then they record. Um, then I take all the video clips the kids send me and we put them in a video editor. Now, when we put them in the video editor here, um, we find out that sometimes some of the students may be played a little too fast. Some of them might be out of tune. Uh, some of them may not have been able to keep tempo period and just sort of fluctuated or they had a lot of wrong notes, in which case I send it back to them and say, yep, yeah, you have to record again. And sometimes they had to record three or four times before they got just the right one. I line them all up here in the video editor. Um, and then I, you know, so if I slide my slider forward here, you can kind of see where all the kids are. Or not, there they are. Um, and then I move the windows around, I adjust the volume levels, add some credits. And then hopefully at the end of the whole uh, process, we get a nice video of the kids playing. So the whole process took us about three or four weeks to put together. This was a piece of music the students had been working on prior to going into spring break. So it was, um, they at least already knew the music. We had a head start and then it was just a matter of coordination. So there you go. Um, if you have any other specific questions about it, I'm happy to answer. Feel free to reach out to me via email. Have a great day.